Hi there. Back on a field I've been on a few times before, but I'm going to go on a completely different area. If you've seen previous videos of mine, there's a patch over there that's been really good, especially for medieval stuff. All the wheat's coming through, so I've not got much longer on this. We won't do much harm to it, if any harm to it, if we're really careful um, while it's this sort of height. And I just want to do a little area, mainly just to do something a bit different and just hope that there's something on it. It's a really lovely day. It's cold. I've got my long johns on, but absolutely beautiful. And you can't really see from, from all this, but we're having a beautiful autumn here in the UK. The colours of the trees are just amazing. The reason I was doing the intro here was I had a tiny signal, really wasn't much at all, and it's the end of a buckle. And that really looks like it's got some age to it. Tasky! Tasky, come here. Yeah, I've got Tasky out with me today. I'm really close to home. If he drives me mad, I'm just going to drop him back because he can smell hares and pheasants and stuff. I'm having a bit of a time. Tasky, come on. I'm having a bit of a time even keeping him close now. And this is early days. Tasky! The killing instinct is strong in this dog. Um, anyway, I wasn't sure what it was, but I can see where the pin of a buckle would have rested. And that's really nice. Not an awful lot, but really nice. Well, I haven't moved really much from this spot. And I've got something really quite wispy here. And I've already found what I think is a cistercius. I'm really hoping for Roman here because I did find a couple of bits over there, but I do feel there is a Roman section here, but I haven't found it yet. And that may be the start of it. I'll show you in a second. Is that your collar? I'm really trying to avoid digging anything too deep because I don't want to dig too deep in this, but this is on a bit of sort of stubbly section, so I don't think I'm doing any harm. I mean, that's pretty faint. Gosh, I was on some pasture a couple of days ago, digging the smallest things at depth with the dais. It was on fire. You can hear the interference from these pylons, can't you? I think it might be already out, funnily enough. God, listen to that chatter. That's what I've got to put up with in my ears. Ugh. It's not going to be any good after all this. Just a tiny bit of lead. Even though it does look like it's shaped, perhaps for something, it looks like a little bone. But here's the cistercius I've just found. I can't, I don't think there's going to be anything on it. It's pretty blank, but it's big and weighty. And that's definitely what it is. So that's a really lovely start. Let's just hope for a few more. Well, as you can see, I've got these socking great pylons behind me. I can hear a sort of fairly constant chattering in the ears um, in the frequency I'm on. In fact, all the frequencies. Um, but it's not bothering me too much. It's not too bad. That's slightly on the loud side, admittedly. But I've just found something really nice, which I'll show you in a minute, which I didn't live do. Because it sounded a bit dull. That's the opposite. I... It's driving me a bit mad, this pinpoint at the moment. It seems a little bit of a life of its, of its own. Tasky's been pretty good at the moment. He's staying fairly close. Really like having him with me. He just will he'll just tear off at the slightest. I don't think it's very exciting. It's as we probably thought. It's a copper ring. Um, not like that last copper ring we found a couple of weeks ago which was wonderful and an annular brooch that's not an annular brooch sadly but quite a nice big sounding thing <clears throat> but this is what i have just found and i really am pleased with this because i've found very few of them and interestingly it's one of the things that 
two or three years ago would have completely flummoxed me, but I found one, I've researched it, um, or rather someone told me, <laughs> probably from one of the forums, um, and then when you find another one, you know exactly what it is. And this one's a really lovely one, and it's a Roman nail cleaner. And if we're finding things like this, let me turn that off. If we're finding things like this, and this is really good news, it's got a hole in the little sort of bit at the top, which I believe means it would have been hanging off something which would have held other bits and pieces, like um, tweezers and, I don't know, nose cleaners and stuff, a sort of hygiene set. But that's just lovely. That's really exciting. Right, what makes a sound like that? If it's not something really nasty, there's only several things, I reckon, at depth that make a sound like that. I know what it is because I've seen it. A cistercius, a big cistercius, a big cartwheel penny, or a socking great crotal bell, and that's what it is. <laughs> I haven't found one of these in a while, and I think it might be a whole one. It's just poking out there. Can you see? <laughs> Taskies, come here. You're in the way. Come on. Good boy, come here. <laughs> I've just given him a bit of a telling off and he's feeling sorry for himself now. And he's pretending to be good. It's just poking out there. You can, can you see it? Is it a whole one? <laughs> yes, and it's an early one because it's got a drilled hole. Hooray, it's going to be a ringer. That's really nice. I'm really pleased with that. Tasky. Oh, no, 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 no trail tasting. So we found Roman and what, 16th century, early 17th century. That's really good. It's lovely, really, because that's the good bit over there that, you know, and I'm, it's just good just to do something a bit different, not keep concentrating on an area you know that's good. I won't be there now again till it's harvested next year, and I'm really looking forward to it already. But if I know that there's a bit here as well, then that's, that's even better. Ding, ding. Well, that's very irony. And right next door, a separate signal. Mm, it's a bit sort of coppery, a bit dull, but it's definitely... Oh, maybe, I think the lower section of that is the iron next to it, not... Yup. It was. What we got? Gosh, there's a tiny piece of copper. I mean, it might be part of a buckle or something like that, but really, gosh. So to, you've got to have your wits about you a bit to pick up next to the, really quite a punchy sound for something so indescript. And that really is all it is. It's a sort of, I mean, that's got to have been part of something. Talking about parts of something and buckles, just found this off camera and this is really lovely. It's got its pin in it. I don't know how early it is. I mean, might it be Roman? After the Cistercius and the, the nail cleaner. I don't know. I've not found this type very often. That's obviously where the strap end, the leather bit has fitted in. Gosh, sorry, hang on a second. I must turn this. <laughs> it's not as bad in my ears, I promise. So don't worry too much if you think I'm just listening to tick, 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 all day long. But that's a lovely strap. I mean, buckle, stroke strap end. It'll clean up nicely too. God, we're definitely finding a few bits and pieces. It's turning out to be a good day. Come on, Taskies. He's quite happy chewing on a stalk. <laughs> good boy. He just likes being out. Don't all dogs, though.
It's a sunbather. It's a tiny little, it's not a tiny little, it's a, uh, it's a copper coin, but a half penny, I think. Um, is it William or perhaps George the First? It's got that old fashioned Britannia looking that way. Um, and by old fashioned, I mean, well, I don't know what I mean, but it's just got the sort of, well, you'll have to see for yourselves. So anyway, I think it's the sort of Britannia which is George the Second, George the First and previous. Um, there's not really enough coming off it at the moment, but a nice little find all the same. Really dull sounding, isn't it? Past me was definitely thinking, I hate to say it, come on, let's whiz back and go to the good area because it's got a little bit, I mean, I found loads of things, but nothing particularly massively exciting. But this, but this is, I found something which I really did think might have been exciting, but it just looks too modern to be. And I think it's a parrot. It's a silver, I'm going to turn this off. It's a, it's a badge or a brooch. And I think it's fairly modern because it's pressed, but it's silverish. And when I dug it, my heart just, God, I just thought, I thought, is this some sort of really rare silver brooch? <laughs> I think it's a brooch of sorts. It's a badge of sorts. But I just don't think, I'm sorry, it's not as exciting as I thought it was. But this is, because it is, it's just a brooch. He says it's just a brooch, but it's a really early one. Where is it? that really dull, dull sand. And the reason it's dull is it's only just basically a strip of copper or bronze. But I think it's what they call a Laten. Um, I've never found this design before, but I think the way it, the way it is, um, the way it's been formed of one, basically one single piece of copper going like that and then round and round again and then over itself to form a, what would have been a pin eventually. I, I think that's really early. I think it's, I think it's Iron Age. I think it's Romano British. I mean, that has made my day. I mean, absolutely thrilled. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. And I've never seen one with the sort of double copper edge with probably enamelling. At least that's what I think it is. I think it's, you know, all that rubbish I just said. But whoa, that just makes it all worthwhile and not going to a good bit and probably not finding anything because we've been over it a few times to a new section. <sighs> oh, hello. Gosh, well, that's, that's made my, my morning. I don't need anything after that. Hello. Sit down. Sit. 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 We've got to get the, we've got to get the thumbnail. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Come on. Sit. What is it? <laughs> Rascals. Well, I better dig this live because I've just dug another piece of very boring, dull sounding. Well, not boring, dull sounding, but it's not what you're sort of subconsciously looking for. A nice high pitched ding, 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 which is often rubbish. I don't know why we don't pay more attention to the duller sounding ones. Perhaps we do. Perhaps it's just me. But sometimes I go through stages of just not digging them, thinking that it's going to be crappy bits of shotgun and stuff, shotgun cartridge and stuff. But I'll show you what I've just found after. And the reason that I'm going to dig all these. Tasky, what have you found? He's bought me luck again though. There's no doubt about it. See, usually my heart would be saying, oh, it's going to be just a boring strip of copper or something, but in this little section here,
Well, it is a boring piece of copper. It's just a Georgian um, buckle fragment. Perfectly nice. Not as early as I wanted, but this might be. Now I know I've seen something like it before. Just don't know, I can't think where. Would it have doubled over? Is it, has that been straightened out with the plow? Um, is it a strap end of sorts? I just don't know, I can't think. But it, it's really nice. And I'm thinking early by the patina and stuff, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's a bit more modern and not very exciting at all. Well, I found several bits of this today. I haven't bored you with them. But nice big bits of bronze in the same areas that we found all these bits and pieces. I mean, probably a pot leg of sorts. Um, but still, it's a, it's, they're, they're a really good sign, heavy bits of bronze like that. I'm sorry we haven't found much on the live digs so far today. And I was just thinking how we hadn't found any silver or hammered coins today and then the, and then I just found this I honestly thought it was a 20p it's got the sort of faceted sides like that and I thought oh fair enough you know let's call it a day it's been lovely it's <laughs> it's not it's a it's a denarius it's the second one I found on this field I found quite a lot of stuff in a very large area there's definitely no roman hot spot it's sort of all over the place there's no pottery either there's just bits and pieces sort of all over the place and this is just this has just made my day wow right who is it it's in Fairly good condition. I can see a bit of green around that side. That's not a great sign. That might mean it's a it's a foray or it's a basically a contemporary forgery. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and clean that up when we get home. Wow. Thank you very much, Lucky. On that note, I think we'll call it a day. We found loads and loads of bits and pieces. It's been a really good fun. It's been warm and sunny. It's the end of November. He's worn out, but more from what we've been doing in the last couple of days than today. Um, but that's brilliant. I've had a really lovely time. Thank you very, very much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>